be 38 weeks to me. Jump in. <laughs> Here I am at 38 weeks. Huge. Like a cow. I can tell you that this baby is not coming anytime soon. I know it. So today is the day that the uh, Soccer World Cup starts. Is anyone else watching? <laughs> Who <Primo's> watching? Belly? <laughs> um, I'm actually kind of bummed that the U.S. is not in it this year because I would have voted for the U.S. and Rima would have voted for Germany. We would have seen who went further. And the last time there was a World Cup, we were in college. We, I remember we had like, we watched like one game together. It was Germany versus the US and obviously everyone was going for the US and then there was like a few select Germans like at, at our school, remember? It was like in the big like cafeteria area and it was just crazy watching it, right? Yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> so that's a German society at the university that we went to and they had some members, they were mostly Americans but they were like for Germany for in the game and so it was like kind of like a fight breaking out in the cafeteria yeah. where they broadcast the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and Remo didn't join his fellow mates in the German area <laughs> but he was voting for Germany. It was just funny because it was like so many Americans going for the American team and then this like tiny group of Germans or people going for Germany. But yeah, now it's the opposite. Well, the U.S. isn't even in, so I guess I have to vote for Germany this year. It is really crazy that the U.S. not in. Yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> so we are going to go to the city, and there's like a city festival going on right now. They do it every year. This is our third year, right? Well, we're actually just going to the store. Uh, we want to go see the festival as well. Yeah. And maybe, maybe we're gonna go in the Ferris wheel. Yeah. That's what we usually do. Weather is like not super sunny. So we'll see if we get rained on. You never know Germany, right? Yeah, you never know in Germany. Oh, well, we didn't make it very far before it started raining. You can have called it actually because I said no, it's not gonna rain. I checked it on the phone. And now it actually did rain, so typical Germany. Question here: Does anyone fight with their significant other about the how far you walk or how fast you walk? Yeah, how fast you walk. Yeah, how fast you walk. Because one of the most frequent fights, what do you say, that we get into <laughs> is that I'm walking too slow, right? That sounds really bad now because Grace pregnant right now, but it was also no. before the pregnancy thing. Like. Yeah, the other day we were walking to the store and I was like asking him to slow down and he was like, what did you say? Well, anyways, we just ran into someone and he told me that his stomach is bigger, my stomach is bigger than his. <laughs> <laughs> we always have this like quarrel, I guess, and the other day we got in a fight about it and then I was like, 
go to the store yourself and I just walked away. So later that same day she went on a walk by herself, you know, because she didn't go on a walk with me. <laughs> and then um, before she came home I was in the kitchen getting something ready and I saw her walk and she was walking faster than when we were walking to the store when she was supposed to like walk fast, you know, like I wanted her to walk fast for me. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't. That's the thing. Is oh, I was walking yeah, the exact was, same. I always was, walk yeah. the exact same, but then he complains that I walk too slow. Happy Sunday slash happy Father's Day to fathers and to Remo. Happy American Father's Day. <laughs> Today's the first uh, Germany soccer game for the World Cup. So they're playing against Mexico. Remo's been waiting for this day, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they have a live viewing in the city. We're trying to decide if we should go or just stay here. We don't know. It's a tough decision because Brianna is pregnant and there's not going to be many like, possible, like you can't sit there and... Yeah, and we, we pretty much can only go if I can sit down and we're not sure. I'm not probably not guaranteed a spot to sit, so I don't know. But we'll watch it anyways, either here or there. My brother's coming over. He just called. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, before we were kind of leaning towards going and now we're like not sure anymore, so... Yeah, yeah, it's only the first game, so you never know, but what do you think? Do you think they'll win? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Germany's gonna win, but you never know, after somebody wins the World Cup, it's like... They always like suck afterwards for some reason, so... <laughs> we'll see if Germany, if that holds true for Germany or not, but... Yeah, we'll see. We lost. We must sad. <laughs> yeah, that was rough to watch, right? Obviously, I'm biased, but <laughs> I feel like, and my brother did too, that the referee was like in favor of the other team. But that's always so hard to t say, and it's like always the case almost when you, yeah, anyhow. Yeah. But yeah, I think the good thing is like Germany. You could see potential. They made a lot of dumb mistakes and they didn't play very well. But that happens so often for teams after they. Um, win a World Cup and but I still think that Germany has a chance and that they're gonna come back strong in the next game I really hope so if you guys watched you should tell us what you thought if you thought Germany played well or not or if they deserve to win this game and also what's up with this guy the black guy's hair with the white on the top it looks like spider web on the top of his hair right yeah it looked kind of funny but I, I think he's usually really well dressed and everything but that yeah he just looked funny today yeah anyways and who are you going for if you're non-German or if you are German? Who are you going for? Yeah, who, Because yeah. you can't go for the US otherwise I know everyone would be going for the <laughs> US. I've gotten questions about if we are raising the baby bilingually and I don't know if I've ever talked about this or not but we are, definitely are. Um, and also I... Oh no, the battery's dying. Okay, new batteries in. Yeah, anyway, so along the same lines of citizenship as far as the baby, like which is the baby German or American? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, no, so he's gonna be both. So I am gonna actually set you down. The struggle is real today. Well, the baby can is eligible and can be a dual citizen. Um, I looked into it for myself, actually. I know it's kind of a controversial topic, but I did look into it for myself and Germany actually like accepts dual citizenship and is okay with it and the US doesn't <laughs> so it's practically impossible for an American who has two American parents to get dual citizenship here in Germany um, because of the US actually it stops it um, unless I renounce my American passport then I can get a German passport obviously but I don't want to do that so um, the baby though because he has an American parent and a German parent, he will have no problem being a dual citizen. And we have like researched it out and the benefits outweigh the um, cons for, for this, so we decided to go through with it. The process, I thought it would be kind of interesting because I get questions about the process all the time. It's really not a complicated process. The only thing is that it requires a lot of paperwork, I'm sure. You can imagine and so it's like a lot of organization that I need to have um, and so I'm trying to do as much as I can before the baby gets here 
but in reality I can't do everything until after the baby is here. After the baby is here we'll get a German certificate, a birth, German birth certificate, and then we also can get an international birth certificate from the um, government offices here. And then we have to have like a million copies of everything, like our marriage certificate, my birth certificate, Remo's birth certificate, um, passports, you know, everything. Then after we get the German birth certificate slash the international birth certificate, then we actually have to go to Berlin to the US Embassy. There is one in Hamburg, but it's not open to the public anymore. Um, I just have my stuff here, that's why I'm looking over here. We have to like make an appointment in Berlin at the consulate and then if I don't have everything, they'll just like send me home. And that's like crazy because I have to be there, Rima has to be there, and the baby has to be there in person. And so um, if I don't have everything that they need, <laughs> then it's like a trip wasted and a huge headache and so I'm trying to be like as organized as I can. I have to have a consular uh, report of birth abroad and that's basically saying that there was a birth abroad announcing it, but it's like a huge document that I have to fill out and take it to the US consulate. And this is the thing that actually costs the most of money. Of course, everything costs money. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I have to have, also with that, I have to have like my evidence of presence in the US. So I'm having my mom bring over like so much when she comes over for the birth. Um, I'm basically, bringing over everything that I can to prove that I was in the US. Obviously I was in the US, but I um, like medical records, my high school graduation records, college, um, like utility bills, like anything that has like dates, the more the better is what I've read. Then also a passport I can do in the same day, which is cool. Um, also costs quite a bit of money, but I have to have passport for the baby. So we have to have like, um, all the things for a normal passport, you know, like pictures and stuff, and then mine and Remo's passports, um, yeah, and fill out a huge thing for that. It's crazy stuff. And then also, he can get a social security number for the US, and that is actually done in Frankfurt at the US Embassy there because the Berlin one doesn't do that service, but lucky for us, we can do that over mail, so that's great. So once we um, get the stuff in Berlin, then I have a whole nother thing I have to fill out for the social security number. Um, and so then I can um, mail everything that I need for that to the to Frankfurt. And then Frankfurt will send it off to the US where it's processed there, sent back to Frankfurt, and then sent back to here. So yeah, it's really not an, a crazy process, but it's just like I so much paperwork. Like I was looking it up and it was like, have six copies of this, have five copies of this, have a color copy and a non-color copy of this. Um, and so it's a little um, overwhelming, but I think we're gonna like vlog it more when we actually go and do it because this is as far as I know up to preparing it. Um, I can actually do this up to when the baby is 18, but I wanna do it as soon as possible because we wanna start traveling and if he has an, a US passport, it's a lot easier to go to the US, but he will have both. He will have a German passport as well. I love that you can see the crib in the background. Hello. Hello, baby. Gonna be there soon. <laughs>